Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your monthly April reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Queen of Wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, vibrant, attractive, proud, determination, courage and confidence, a lot of passion. Is that you or is that somebody in your life? Ooh, the devil. Here we have a Capricorn, but this could also be temptation. Temptation. Are you tempted by this person, this fire sign? Very, maybe there's a sexual attraction with this fire sign. It's very, very uh, intense energy. You know, the, you may be attracted by this person, but you know, there could, and you may have a lack of discipline towards this person. You may feel like, ooh, the attraction is so strong that you can't control yourself. Hmm. You may feel like you're being attacked by this person. Or you may feel like they're coming on too strong, or they probably are coming on too strong. Whoever this person is, it may not be attacked. The, the, the energy is very strong. Maybe there's a strong attraction to this person that you cannot control yourself. Okay, that could certainly be the case where, you know, there's a lack of discipline here. Because, you know, what does the devil energy bring? Obsessions. Temptations. Lust in there. I think there's some lust here. That's what I see. But it's not practical. It's not practical. It's like it's never going to work out, whatever this is. Something isn't going to work out. It's not practical. It's not stable. It's... Let me just get this zoomed in and then we will keep going. Right. Somebody may be full of, might have a lot of desires, put it that way. There's a lot of desires this month, you know, and I think that these desires may be at the forefront of your existence. Like, I have to go find, I have to go find my other half. I have to go, f I have to, you know, you're filled with passion. You're filled with um, fire, okay? You're filled with fire. And, and, you know, you also could be dealing with a fire sign, all right? But I feel as though you are going to be called to hold back, you know? Can you hold back? Can you hold back, okay? Because it feels as though I am so in tune with finding my wish fulfillment that you may be being impractical here, okay? So it feels like there's a lack of um, appreciation for something, okay? There's a lack of appreciation and there's instability here. The person that you're dealing with, yes, they may be very sexy, and that's a man or a woman, they may be very sexy and attractive, but they're, all, they're not looking for love, okay, because where's the love here in this reading? You're looking for wish fulfillment and love, but where, where else is the love? It's not here, okay? 
okay? This person is only, in, in reverse, is only interested in sex and money, okay? So, and I, I feel like this is the same energy. I feel like you are dealing with somebody who's not looking for love. Yes, it's, there's a sexual attraction here, okay? And I feel like it doesn't lead to anything stable and secure, okay? It doesn't, okay? I feel like you are on the hunt for wish fulfillment, okay? You're on the hunt, but it feels like, you know, you have to, you have to get real here. You have to get re real, okay? This is a reality check with the moon reversed. It appears that there's some confusion here, all right? I think you're, this temptation is confusing you. It is, it is, you know, and you're going to end up having regrets. Okay, this person may be, may take you for some money. Just beware, beware. This person is very, very sexy and alluring. Now this is a man or a woman. There's a very sexy, alluring person that is around that may tempt you. You know, and you're going to have to find your discipline. This is lack of discipline, so I'm not sure what you're going to do. But I see that, you know... There is some blind faith here. This is blind faith. It's also conventional. Be careful what you choose, okay? Are you choosing somebody based on their looks? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Are you taking the conventional approach? I feel as though it's time to release your old ways, okay, and believe in yourself, but I'm not sure that you are because this is reversed. There is some sort of situation that is not practical, but it's alluring. Oh boy. So you have the opportunity to avoid this disaster. Whoever this person is, is unstable. They don't have their shit together financially. And yeah, they're beautiful, but they can't take care of themselves. So are you prepared to lose some money? Okay, because I'm telling you what. That's what the devil does. The devil energy. There's somebody that is coming into your life, whether they're here now or whatever, that is very unstable. Okay? They're looking for you to take care of them. In more ways than one. <laughs> so anyway, um, it appears that, you know, they're going to be very smothering. Do you, are you ready to be smothered? This is being smothered, reversed. Is that what you're looking for? Just because they're sexy? Beware. Beware. Scorpio. I feel like there is somebody that... Um, you may be thinking about uh, dropping this person if they're already in your life. Okay, you don't probably want to play this game much longer. It didn't turn out to be a happy relationship that you were looking for. Okay? Now, this can be any sign. Okay, this, this right here, because we have Cancer here. We have Leo, uh, Sagittarius, and Aries. We have Capricorn. We have Taurus. We have Scorpio. Um, that's what I see so far. But anyway, I feel as though... And, I said Scorpio already. Anyway, I feel that as though there is something that is being released, or you're thinking about releasing it. You're thinking about letting go of a relationship. I mean, this is it. I mean, that's what this says. Because it didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. This person is not secure. This person is looking for somebody to take care of them. They're looking for somebody to nurture them. They're smothering. This person that you're dealing with is smothering. 
So I think you're thinking about releasing this whole situation, whatever it is. You probably feel, like I said earlier, like you're feeling attacked. You're, you're probably starting to see that there's no future here. That there's no changes on the horizon. Something's not changing. It's not practical. This person is, this person is into everything but love. Where is the love? Where's the love? Please point it out to me. I think that you're dealing with somebody who is greedy, um, materialistic, stubborn, may even do things illegally. I mean, with all these reversals in money, I mean, they may be, do have illegal dealings. They may, they may not. But you're dealing with somebody who is sexy as hell, but it's not practical. It's just not practical. It, and I feel like you're thinking about quitting. Because this could turn into a disaster if you don't. You, it, to avoid the disaster, you need to, you need to remove yourself from the situation. And not give it any more of your energy. You're going to have to use your sword and speak up for yourself and do the right thing and be honest. I think that you've been observing this situation or you're going to this month. You're going to observe this situation. And I think that you've been mentally restless in regards to what action to take. Because there's stability, right? It's like, you know what, this, this could lead to stability. Maybe you feel like, maybe you feel like it was stable at one time, or it could lead to stability. Maybe that was what you were thinking. But I think this is just a weakness of some sort with the strength reversed. You could be dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of doubt and a lot of pride, and there's weakness. And I think this weakness, what is this weakness? This weakness is, is that you don't want to reject. You don't want to reject anybody. You don't want to reject. But you're feeling trapped. What is that? What the hell? You feel like you're being, you're in prison here. You're being smothered for sure. So is somebody smothering you, but you don't want to reject them? You don't want to hurt them? Someone's smothering you. But you lack the strength to reject them because you don't want to hurt them because you thought that it was going to lead to stability. But this person, whoever this person is, isn't practical. They're very stubborn and hot-headed, greedy, and you're thinking about letting them go because you've reached some sort of dead end and you can't see a future there anymore. And now it's like, I can't, I can't, be deceptive to what I know to be true any longer, because the magician is deceptive, okay? Somebody was very cunning, okay? Somebody was very cunning, and they, they have lured you in. That's what's happened here. They've lured you in, into some sort of relationship that is now, you know, this relationship is now unstable, even though it was stable at one time. I mean, this relationship was based on lust. It was. And now it's like, I, I need to... bring balance back to my life. I feel like something was done impulsively. Okay? 
I do. I feel like something was done impulsively and now you've come to this realization that this wasn't stable as you thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. I there's no more there's no there's no future here. There's no future here. And it's hard to let go of something that is so alluring. She's some crow. There's an end of a contract here. And you and I think that you're making the choice to end it. You're making the choice to end this contract. Because it isn't based on love. Where is the love? Please. In all these cards, I where is the love? It wasn't based on love. It was based on codependency and please come take care of me. I would like you to come take care of me now. At home. And in the bedroom. If you could come take care of me. That would be great. But I'm not going to take care of you. You had the best of intentions, Scorpio. This is you that went into this situation, this is man or woman, with the best of intentions and a hope, open heart. And now it's time to accept the truth. Okay, it's time to wake up. You've received an awakening. And I feel like there's a secret that has been revealed or that you've been keeping. Here we have the sun, which is happiness. Happiness. This is when you release the past because the judgment is releasing the past. It is. Accepting the truth, the judgment, accepting the truth, releasing the past and moving on. That's what it is. Brings happiness. Once you let go of these burdens and this baggage and this responsibility that you have taken on, And accept the whole truth. You guys are waking up to a situation. That's what's happening here. These are both awakening. You guys are waking up to a situation in which I believe that you were taken advantage of. I do. I think that you were taken advantage of. That somebody was giving you, you know, very little to keep you in a spot where you could take care of them. They were looking for you to take care of them. And I think you have received this awakening, this wake-up call that puts things into perspective. That no... This was some sort of deception. I mean, with the devil card, this was some sort of deception. This was some sort of lies and deceit, addiction, lust, sabotage, manipulation. It feels like you have been, been, been manipulated by someone who is very alluring. And now it's time for you to end this contract, end this contract, accept this truth and follow your own, use your power to release the past baggage so that you can be happy. So I feel as though this is a month of realizing the truth of a situation and releasing it. So that you can be happy. But I want to know. You know, there's a lack of faith though. There's blind faith here. That's what happened up here. Okay, see these are mirroring each other. There was blind faith. Okay. There was. There was. This is any sign, but whatever. Um, anyhow, 
I feel as though you guys are being called to choose wisely. Don't choose somebody. And I told another sign this too. Based on looks. Interesting. Yeah. See, the thing is, is that, you know, when you choose the wrong one because of their looks, and I'm just, I mean, I don't know where this is coming from. You will receive unfair treatment. Okay? I think that you have been treated unfairly. It feels, it feels that you are dealing with somebody who looks good on the outside, but on the inside, they're manipulative. They're very manipulative, which is a form of abuse. This is manipulation. You're dealing with somebody who is very, very manipulative. And they use their outside appearance and their confidence, you know, because they have a lot of confidence to manipulate you. And I know that's hard to understand, but it is what it is. It's been causing you a lot of, a lot of de depression, anxiety. You're dealing with somebody who... Is manipulative and they are causing you depression and it's time for you to cut the tension it's time for you to stop engaging in this conflict I feel like this is a month of letting go of something to bring about happiness. Some, and you know what this is. You do know what this is. I feel as though you need to find there's a lack of discipline here because you don't want to hurt somebody. I don't want to hurt somebody. I had the best of intentions here, but it's not working out. It's not working out. And I think that this, this happened, this whatever it is, happened impulsively. And there was a strong sexual attraction. But there's no stability here and there's no love here. All the pentacles are reversed. And there's no ace of cups, two of cups, none of that. Because it was based on looks. It was. And sex. And sex. Okay, it was based on looks and sex. But I don't think it's working out. Somebody's feeling quite smothered. So I feel like this is a month of regaining happiness by ending a contract. I mean, that's what that lover's card is. End, reversed. Ending a contract. Making the decision to end a contract that wasn't stable and secure. Getting real with this moon card. It just fell out unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going not anymore flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others and that's what you need to do that's advice let go of the past move on be happy you know, that's what you're looking for is happiness so I think that what's going to happen and what I see happening is that somebody is because with the judgment is releasing the past in the death card. You guys are ending something in the world card. There's a new beginning here. OK, there is. There's a new beginning here because you're you're letting go of something that did not work out. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could be one of the reasons why some of you have had a hard time leaving. Ooh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what's going on. I think this is a month where you put yourself first and you finally wake up and see this as it is. You see the truth. With judgment and the Ace of Swords, that's where you receive and you see the truth. And then you decide to start over. You start a new chapter with the death in the world. You guys are starting over. I see a new beginning here, which brings a lot of happiness. Okay? And I feel that it's after you were 
you know, you did something, you were tempted, and, and you did, you followed the, the the devil energy. Okay, that's what's happened here. You you gave in to temptation, and you paid the price, and now you your eyes are open, and you're releasing that karmic whatever it was, and and moving on. That's what I see. I think that you're moving on. Do I see new love coming in? I don't see it. Do you? I don't see it because you're still removing burdens. You're still removing baggage. But you're happy. I see that you will be happy with what you're removing from your life. You're accepting reality. You may be flirting with others, you know, after you free yourself from whatever this is. But I think you may, you know, you may be happy, very happy. I see you being very happy, you know, lighthearted after this is gone. And maybe this is what this month is about, is just letting go of the burdens, letting go of whatever this fake situation was and being happy again. Ooh, listen. I'm going to zoom it in. You have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Lies beneath the words. Pay attention. Pay attention. If you are single, beware. Beware that somebody could enter your life that looks amazing. Don't only watch their words. Watch their body language and look deeper. Look deeper. Okay? If you are coupled... It appears to me that there is some sort of deception here. And you're wanting to get out of it. Because it didn't turn out to be what you thought it was going to be. Talk to you later.